Does someone have to turn from their sins in order to be saved? The short answer is absolutely not. The Word of God defines sin as the transgression of the law or the breaking of God's law. 1 John chapter 3, verse 4 says this, Whosoever committeth sin transgresseth also the law, for sin is what? The transgression of the law. To teach that an individual must turn from their sins is to say that they must turn from disobeying the law. Now, logically, when someone turns from breaking the law, they are turning to what? Keeping the law or obeying the law. Now, if you are trusting in your keeping of the law or your obedience to the law, you are trusting in the very thing that condemns you and charges you as guilty before God. Don't miss that. If you are trusting in your obedience to the law, you are trusting in the very thing that condemns you, the very thing that charges you as guilty before God. Jesus said in John chapter 5, verse 45, Do not think that I will accuse you to the Father. There is one that accuseth you, watch this, even Moses in whom ye trust. Romans chapter 3, verse 19 says, Now we know that what things soever the law saith, it saith to them who are under the law, why? That every mouth may be stopped and all the world may become what? Guilty before God. Watch this. Salvation is by grace through faith alone, plus nothing, minus nothing. We corrupt and convolute the gospel message when we add to or subtract from what Christ has already accomplished for us. Many are trusting in their behavior rather than the Savior, i.e. turning from sins. Acts chapter 13 verse 39 says this, And by him all that what? Believe are justified from all things, from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Let's read that again. And by him all that believe are justified from all things, from which ye could not be justified by the law of Moses. Romans chapter 3, starting off in verse 20. Therefore, by the deeds of the law, there shall no flesh be justified in his sight, for by the law is the knowledge of sin. The law shows us we are a sinner in need of a savior. Verse 21, but now the righteousness of God without the law. Don't miss that. The righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is by the law, no, the righteousness of God, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that what? Obey the law? No, believe. For there is no difference. For all have sinned and come short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God hath set forth to be a propitiation through faith in his blood to declare his righteousness for the remission of sins that are past through the forbearance of God to declare, I say, at this time, his righteousness, not my righteousness, not your righteousness, his righteousness, that he might be just and the justifier of him which believeth in Jesus. Where is boasting then? It is excluded. By what law? Of works? Nay, but by the law of faith. Therefore we conclude, here is the conclusion of the matter, that a man is justified. How? By turning from sins? No, by faith without the deeds of the law. Galatians chapter 2 verse 16 says this, knowing that a man is not justified by the works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ, even we have believed in Jesus Christ, that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law, watch this, shall no flesh be justified. 
Philippians chapter 3 verse 9 says, And be found in him, that is Christ Jesus, not having mine own righteousness, notice this, which is of what? The law, but that which is through the faith of Christ, the righteousness which is of God by faith. The word of God is abundantly clear. We are saved by grace through faith alone. Plus nothing, minus nothing. Turning from sins is works, and salvation is not of works. It says in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 and 9, For by grace are ye saved through faith, and that not of yourselves. It is the gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Romans chapter 4, verse 5 says, But to him that worketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness, not his performance, not his obedience to the law, not his turning from sin, not his behavior. No, his faith is counted for righteousness. The moment you place your faith in Jesus Christ, the righteousness of God is imputed unto you. The Bible says unto all and upon all them that believe. Look, if you are trusting in your obedience to the law, you are trusting in yourself. And if you are trusting in yourself, you are trusting in a sinner who deserves hell. And if you are trusting in a sinner who deserves hell, you're not going to heaven. You need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Stop trusting the sinner and put your faith in the Savior. Stop depending upon, relying upon your performance, your behavior, and place your faith in Jesus Christ alone. Trust in Jesus Christ alone. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. If you are not 100% certain that you're going to heaven, I encourage you to watch the video in the description below, How to Be Saved from Hell, The Only Way to Heaven and Be Saved Today. God bless.